Hey guys, and welcome back to Arnold and Cart. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to draw a really super cute puppy. But before I do, I want to again thank everyone who sent me a mail in my P.O. box. I just finished putting all of my mail up on my door of fame. I love it. And so if you have not checked out the monthly mail opening video, I'll put a link to it right here and in the description box below. Um, and then also just let you know, I am working on getting my artist showcase video uh, ready to go out this week. So if you have any last minute artwork that you'd like to submit to get into the artist showcase, make sure to post that to both either, well, not both, but either my Facebook page or my Instagram so I can make sure to get that and try to get it into the artist showcase. Well, with that aside, let's jump over to my art table and I'll show you how to draw a super cute puppy. I'm going to start off with kind of a dough ball shape here. Right there. So there's his little head right there. Then we're gonna go ahead and put his little kind of shoulders kind of peeking out behind there and then his little rump right there. Another little dough ball shape there for his rump. And you'll see that I'm having these kind of lines kind of overlap. So the head is first and foremost and then this, the rump and the shoulders kind of overlap in behind the head. I'm gonna put in these little triangle shapes right here for his ears. And put another one right over here for this little ear right here. And then his little tail sticking up. I think he's playing. He must be playing. There we go. And then I'm going to give him a cute little nose, but I'm going to come down towards the end of his face. And by giving him a, a much bigger forehead, it's going to give him more of that baby look. And then I'm going to give him his little eyes, little circles for eyes right now. And I'm going to bring his little paws underneath him just a little bit. just a little hint of the back paw right there. So this is kind of the shape that I have him in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in and fix my lines and kind of make it look a little bit more like fur. So to do that I'm going to take my eraser and just really lightly go over this. And you could use a regular eraser or a gummy eraser would work really really well. Kind of clean up around there a little bit. This is why it's really important not to push hard. If you're pushing so hard that there's an impression on your paper, like you could actually run your fingers across and feel like the indent graven pencil line on your paper, you're pushing too hard. Hold your pencil gently, softly, and it just might take some time just running your pencil across the paper to kind of teach yourself not to push hard. But you wanna be able to get where you can erase. And so you could have your guidelines, but they're not your finished lines. So I'm going to go ahead and put his nose in first. I'm going to kind of make it a little bit kind of ovalishly round. Kind of shade that in just a little bit. And I'm going to give him his bottom or his top lip there. So I'm going to go down and then just give a little indication of a mouth right there, just tiny. And then I'm gonna go and put his eyes in there. And I'm gonna give him a kind of that sad puppy look. So it's gonna be really round until you get to the outside upper corner. And I'm gonna kind of curve that up just a little bit. That gives that kind of sad puppy look. If you kind of think of it as maybe as like an eyebrow, how eyebrows kind of go pink up when they're kind of sad. If you do that, you're gonna give that kind of, oh, puppy look, play with me. Another thing we're going to do is we're going to put in some shine lines. So I'm going to put two circles roughly in the same position on the, in the eye. So you could have it anywhere in the eye, but you just want to roughly have it in the same place. If I have it in this corner here, I'm going to put it in this corner here. And then I'm actually going to bring a line up here so that this is the colored part of his eye. And then you have a little bit of the whites. Not a lot, but just a little bit. And then we can darken this part in. And this kind of cute face would work on lots of different animals. You could do this for teddy bears or, you know, this kind of technique to making super cute eyes is really well used with all sorts of different cute drawings. Okay, so there's this cute face. I'm gonna start erasing like this. That doesn't work. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the little 
fur for his ears. Now instead of just drawing straight lines now, I'm just going to start making little flicking lines that are not the same. So they're not going to go in the same direction or they're not going to be absolutely perfectly identical. I want them to be similar but not identical. Like they, they belong together but they're not the same hair. And it's going to give the appearance of having fur. So you're going to follow the line that you would have drawn as a solid line and instead just making these really um, tiny little hash lines. And this of course is going to take a lot longer than what obviously would have taken me to go whoop, but it's the end result is, is I really like it so I like putting the time into doing this because I get a really cute kind of fur line. So the thing is, is you just want to make sure that these lines aren't looking exactly the same. So you'll see I have some going this way and then I have a couple kind of bending off this way and then a couple bending this way and so they're, they're following this line but they're just a little bit different and it will take a little bit of practice to kind of find how to do these lines so that they work for you and not against you but um, if you want to get good at something I always say practice 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 now as I'm drawing this line down here I'll scoot this up so you can see I'm not going to just draw this kind of kind of wrapping line here I'm going to bring it in just a little bit and then punch it out for the cheeks and punch it out. That's that's a new word. I made that up, but it works. So it gives him that kind of cute little puppy cheek look. I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Bring it out for his cheeks, and then bring it on down. Oh, he's looking so adorable. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and bring this line here for his little shoulders coming down to his paws. And you'll see some of these I'm getting really, really like almost dots rather than lines. And that's where I want kind of the fur to look like it's a little bit shorter. And now for his nice big fluffy belly. And then along his back there. down and put his little back hind leg kind of poking out right there and then his little tail and I want to draw the hair these lines kind of going in the direction that the fur would be growing so I'm not going to put it like straight across like a like a horizontal line I'm not going to do straight up and down like a vertical line they just have but they're going to go the way the direction that the fur would actually stick out on an animal Here we go now I'm going to give just some little indications of some eyelashes here, just for some extra cuteness. And I'm going to give a couple little fur lines up there, just to kind of give some um, eye ridges there, and maybe just a little bit right in here. And there we go, we have our super cute puppy. Now you can take it ink him in if you'd like to, with your ink pen. Um, I would recommend, you know, um, something that has a nice uh, ink to it that's not going to smear, and something that has a really fine tip. So here, this one is an extremely fine tip uh, pin here. This one's a 005, so it's point, you can barely even see it. So right there. That little tiny black thing on the very tip of that. That right there is the pin. <laughs> so this gives a really, really fine line. I don't know if I would use that fine of a line. This one's a 02 instead of a 005, so you can definitely see that nib. I wouldn't recommend inking in something that has like a really blunt point like this here. Um, this is a fun little marker, it gives a great line, but it's really, it doesn't get that fine point, so you're gonna lose all this detail. You want something that's gonna give you a line that's as crisp and clean as much as your pencil line, you wanna match that. So I wouldn't use something like a permanent marker or anything like that that has that blunt tip to it.
I went ahead and finished inking him in and again just went really carefully with all the lines kind of getting that difference there and what I'm going to do is on his eyes on this lower part I'm going to thicken the line weight at the bottom of his eyes that's going to give the puppy's eyes a little bit of a droop to them which is going to create a little bit more of a, that um, that puppy look. As I look at more photos of, of dogs giving you that begging stare, their eyes just kind of are sinking down and, and looking all sad and everything. Just, just a cuddle, just a little treat would make my day. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. If you decide to ink in your drawing as well, make sure to give it a couple good minutes to dry before you go and erase it. That way you won't um, smudge or smear your ink. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda go back and just add a little bit of coloring with my colored pencil to my pup. So of course you can use a ton of different things to color your painting or your picture with. You can use you know, paints or markers. I'm going to use my color pencils to color this in. And I know a lot of you guys are have been asking for a color pencil tutorial. Uh, I will be working on that um, at the beginning of the new year. So don't fret, it is coming, coming, coming. There we go, just about finished. So, very cute little pup. I don't know how anyone could say no to going and playing with him. Or her. It might be her. It has eyelashes. It might be her. It's not the universal rule if it has eyelashes, it's a girl. I don't know. <laughs> so like I said, this technique can be used on a wide variety of different animals and creatures to make cute, um, cute babies and fuzzy little fluff balls and all that. Just by changing some of your details, you could easily change this into a cat or a panda bear or an iguana. Okay, you'd have to change a lot of things to make an iguana. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed drawing that puppy and that it turned out super cute. I would love to see it. So make sure to post those pictures to my Facebook page or Instagram, or you can always send me something in my P.O. Box. I'd love to get that. Um, there is a really cool, exciting announcement about my P.O. Box. If you watched the last uh, monthly mail video, I do a really cool little announcement where you can, might be able to get a personal letter back from me. So check that out and to see how you can get that. So if you enjoyed these videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. I post new videos each week, one on Mondays, one on Wednesdays, and one on Saturdays. So there's always something new and fun to watch. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit it with a big thumbs up and share it with your friends and family across the social media. That really, really helps me to get these videos out to other people. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, God bless you guys, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.